Hey everybody, Chris Steele here at Steel Frags, and tonight we are reviewing Lomani's AB Spirit Millionaire. Before we get into the review, I would like to thank and welcome any new or returning subscribers, and you too, the potential subscriber. So if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. It helps the algorithm and it helps me help you make the world a better smelling place. Anyway, we're going to jump right into this one. I've had this one for a while, and it is noteworthy. I, I forgot. This is one of those fragrances. It sits in your collection. You, you remember how it smelled when you first got it. But then you get so caught up in all the newest fragrances that it just kind of sits in the back, and then you're reminded one day. So we're going to get right into this. So this is AB, AB Spirit Millionaire by Lamani. It is woody spicy. It's eau de toilette or EDT. And the notes are, top notes, green apple, cardamom, mandarin orange, and bergamot. And the middle notes, we have cumin, coriander, nutmeg, ja and jasmine. And in the base, we have vanilla, white musk, amber, and cedar. So that's a very... Uh, specific and detailed um, list of notes, but I don't really get that. With this, I get specific accords. So we're gonna experience this in real time real quick. Ooh, good atomizer. Oh man, so I gotta tell you guys about this one. So this is one of those fragrances, it's very hard to overspray. And the reason why is because this is extremely fresh, extremely, extremely fresh. I know it says there's cumin and coriander in there. I do not smell any cumin. And as far as the coriander, um, it just blends in with the all, all the other fresh, spicy kind of um, accords you get with this. What it reminds me of, and this will give you a better idea of what it is. It reminds me of if you were to get a bar of soap, like a bar of zest soap, the blue zest soap, and then go outside when it's a torrential downpour, when it's raining really, really hard, and just wash your, like, clean yourself in rain with the zest soap. That's what this smells like. It is soapy. It is clean. It is extremely fresh. Inoffensive. Very good performer for what it is. Now, you know how freshies are. Um, a freshie can give you anywhere between three to five hours to five to seven hours. This is more in that upper range of five to seven hours. Not going to guarantee you that it's going to give you a full five or full seven, but it's in that range. Now let's get into the specifics. Let's get into the to the longevity, the siage, the when to wear it, when not to. Let's get into when when to wear this. You can wear this anytime, any season really. But as far as um, let me adjust my camera just a little bit. It's kind of throwing me off how close this camera is. Anyway, so you can wear this to the office. For sure. You can wear this uh, pretty much anywhere. You can wear this take, taking, doing errands, uh, you know, anything you can think of where you just want to smell like fresh, clean, zest soap with a hint of rainwater. That's what this is for. Now, as far as seasons, this is pretty much um, for, you can just wear this the entire calendar. Um, you're not going to offend anyone. It's not cloying at all. It has pretty good projection, pretty good, uh, sillage. And that's what we're going to get into. So four seasons, you know, uh, as far as long, uh, we got the longevity. No, we didn't do longevity. Five to seven hours. Sillage is about an hour and a half two two foot scent bubble. Now, when I give you guys these numbers, I'm really hoping that you're not sitting there with a calculator or writing this down because this is just my perception of how long or 
how, you know, how far, how potent some of these perfumes are. This is not an exact, I can't give you an exact, uh, you know, time. I can only give you an estimation of how the longevity of the sillage. So anyway, let's get back to it. Hour and a half of good sillage, about a two foot scent bump. After that hour and a half, you get about a one foot scent bump. What do you get though? You get fresh, clean, soapy, slight, very slightly spicy. It's not really spicy though. It's more soapy, fresh, clean, um, ozonic kind of smell because it has that rainwater kind of accord. Uh, you, one can say that this is o a little ozonic, but overall it's a very, very good smell. And I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Uh, one of the best things about this fragrance, other than the scent and the and the good performance, is that for this huge bottle, I think this is a, I want to say this is a six ounce. Let me see if I can see on here. Uh, I cannot. Anyway, for that huge bottle, it's about 20 bucks. And I know you can get this, uh, you can get this real, it should be readily available on Amazon. Um, also, uh, pretty much anywhere else online that sell fragrances, especially Lomani fragrances, which is a, a um, French house. They're from Paris. And uh, anyway, it's very good quality. The, the pre presentation that came with this was kind of crazy too, because it comes in this metal tin bottle or metal tin box. The bottle comes in there and there's a postcard that's inside the tin and it's like it has some really uh, hallmarkish cheesy ass saying in it but it was a very nice touch to it. it made made this feel very premium when you get this so don't think of this as a as a a cheap fragrance or anything like that and as far as if this is cloning anything I don't think there's anything that this is cloning. I've heard people say weird shit like, oh, yeah, this is a clone of 1 million. This does not have any 1 million DNA. This is very much a uh, a creation on it to itself, unless it's cloning something that I just, I'm not hip to, which is possible. I'm not um, the all-knowing fragrance god of YouTube. I am not that person. But... Um, it has that soapiness, freshness, very clean, very inoffensive, good longevity, good sillage, can't go wrong. Anyway, help me help you make the world a better smelling place. Go ahead, hit that like, hit that subscribe, help me out, man. Help me out so I can continue to help you guys out, all right? I'm going to help you out regardless, though, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, thank you for your time. I'm not going to hold you. And as always... Until the next one, peace.